Hello everybody and welcome back to another video about the Lord of the Rings LCG. I am Ryan and this is the final game of my Angmar Awakened mini-series, my complete playthrough of the cycle in solo with the same deck. And uh, I am sure by now you may have had a look at the last game, um, if I can call it that, or the last set of games, if I can call them games, where I pretty much banged my head against Karn Doom for about half an hour until I got sick of it and decided to fold. So I may return to that quest one day. One day, when my scars have healed. But until then, I'm going to play the Dread Realm, because I like this quest. I actually like this quest compared to Karn Doom. Karn Doom is not one I play very often. Um, I have beaten it, but I don't play it very often, as you probably noticed. But this one I do like to play often. And this is one that I think um, I've played before in Nightmare Mode, so this one will be easier than that game, I expect. Uh, but I think this one is still actually difficult in normal mode. I think this is one of those ones that can sort of get you and it can be quite frustrating until you figure out a nice deck to beat it. I think the first time I ever beat it was with a Dunedain deck and then I started using a trap Dunedain deck and then I threw this um, Dane deck up against it when I was playing a couple of weeks ago with physical cards and uh, had a good game. And um, one of the things that's challenging in this, it's it's kind of similar to Treachery of Rudar in, in that there's a lot of undead enemies and there's some bad shadow effects for this deck. Um, on the plus side, though, a good thing for my deck here is that I don't particularly care what I lose to these reanimated dead effects. There's a lot of these um, uh, sort of treacheries and shadow effects and things that make uh, these undead enemies appear. So uh, this card says, Many encounter cards in the Dread Realm scenario instruct players to reanimate a card. When a player is instructed to reanimate a card, place that card face down in front of that player as if it had just engaged that player from the staging area. Face down cards that have been reanimated are called reanimated dead and act as if they are undead enemy cards with zero engagement. Two threat, two attack, two defense, and two hit points. As a reminder, each quest card has a text reanimated dead are undead enemies with two, 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 and two hit points. And if a reanimated dead is destroyed or leaves play for any other reason, it is placed in its owner's discard pile. Now for my deck, because I play with Gandalf, I actually get knowledge of what this reanimated dead is which is quite useful to me because I know that what I'm not going to draw and whether or not I should actually kill any particular reanimated dead. Um, but the other sort of benefit, or not benefit, but thing that doesn't bother me, I suppose, with this deck is that because I run Will of the West, I don't particularly care if I lose cards because I'll just get them back if I need to. So that's a nice thing about playing uh, this quest with my deck. So I'm going to shuffle and I will draw six. And now... Thinking about this, I think that some of the cards that I should look for, Gandalf's Staff is one of them, um, but another one that I think is quite important here is Readying for Dane Ironfoot, because this quest can chuck out some enemies. Uh, and if you do not have defenders, you can get chipped away. I quite like the Staff and I quite like the Silver Lamp though. It's a difficult hand to decide what to do with it, and I like having this Toymaker too, because I can play him and get one of these things for free on the first turn. Two Galadrim's Greeting isn't amazing. Um, I think I'll keep this. I think I'll keep this. I just like having this for this one. Gives me a bit of breathing room, so I'm going to stick with it. I'll get rid of this card. Now, I've done that, so let's read the um, setup. 1A, the Catacombs of Karn Doom. Setup, set Dakonar and Altar of Midwinter aside out of play. Each player reveals an encounter card from the top of the encounter deck. Each player reanimates the top card of his deck. Now, the best card you can get on this reveal, I think, is one of the treacheries, or a, a couple of them, actually, because they whiff. There's one that kills an ally, and there's one that discards an ally. Um, so they're really the ones you want to see here. So let's reveal one card. A Fell Dread. When revealed, the player with the highest threat must attach a Fell Dread to a hero he controls without a Fell Dread attached. Counts the condition attachment with the text, Attach Hero's Willpower is reduced to zero. During the quest phase, Attach Hero must commit to the quest if able. That's not too great of a star. I mean, it doesn't add threat, but it's severely limiting my questing ability on turn one. I'll probably do that on Arwen, because, I mean, she's going to quest anyway. So it's a bit unfortunate, but... Um, I'd rather have that on her than, say, Gandalf or Dane. Didn't add any threat, though. And then we reanimate that. Ash, so actually I won't be getting two Galadrim's Greetings, so that's actually good. So that'll go there, and I'll just put the stats on it so we don't forget. Okay, and then we flip that one. So this is an 18 quest point card. 
Reanimate dead or undead enemies with two threat, two attack, two defense, and two hit points. When the players advance to stage two, all sorcery cards attached to this stage are attached to stage 2B. So I think really the sort of tactic here is to sit at stage one for a couple of rounds, build up your board, and then go to stage two, because that's when you have to fight this guy, this Dakinar dude, and this altar of midwinter comes into play. So you don't want to let locations build up in the stationary either. You have to keep those turning over. So let's kick this off. All right, Gandalf Staff on top of my deck. I might actually play that one from the top just to move through a little bit. Although having um, a card there that I don't care about is nice, in case I need to discard to Dane. So perhaps I'll play the Toymaker since I've lost Arwen's uh, ability, or rather willpower. So I need to make up for that somehow. So if I play him... I can play the staff from the top of my deck for free. So I'll discard this one to gain a resource and do one, two, three, and uh, play him. There he is, with his swanky beard. Get Gandalf's staff for nothing. Glorfindel on the top, that's fine by me. Now I can use the staff to gain an, a resource and actually play another ally, which would be good, I reckon, because then I could quest for four with just allies and um, have my heroes up to do stuff. So I'll do that. I'll play him. And I think I'll just quest with these two. So four willpower. Against nothing. One card. Death and Calamity. When revealed, attach Death and Calamity to the current quest. Then the first player reanimates the top X cards of his deck, where X is the number of copies of Death and Calamity in play. And as Joseph likes to say, the derpiest encounter card are in the game, I reckon. So we're getting Glorfindel under there. Glorfindel turns into uh, an enemy. Doesn't happen very often. There's some readying. That's really good. It didn't add any threat, though, so I make four progress. And then we go to combat phase, and now I've just realized Arwen should be exhausted, so I may as well just keep doing that over and over. Defend the first one with him. Attacking enemy gets plus one attack. If this attack destroys a character, reveal one encounter card. That is not going to destroy a character. And um, I will do the other one with Gandalf. If this attack destroys a character, reanimate that character and deal it one shadow card. There's clearly punishment here for allowing things to die, which I'm not going to do with this deck, I hope. So I take no damage, and I'll go to the next turn. All right, Wizard Pipe. I like it. I'm going to play it for one. And I want to play Unexpected Courage. I'd quite like to play Zizzle Miner and gain some resources, though. That would be good. I think I'll play this, though. Just play it safe. And I still have Armour's ability if I need it. I'm going to quest for four again. Huh, seven with Armour. Yeah, right. Four against nothing. One card. Dark Sorcery. Doom 2. When revealed, each player discards each ally he controls that has the same title as a card in his discard pile. That is a mega, mega whiff. Terrible for Outlands, though, once you get an ally in your discard pile. So eight progress on there, or four rather, and then shadow cards in the combat phase. I'll defend the first one with Dane Ironfoot. Discard top three cards of your deck. That's terrible. That's a terrible card. So it's going to get plus one attack for each card type. Ally, ally, ally. Ooh, that's put a lot of allies in there. Um, so it gets plus one, and then I will ready him and defend the next one. That does nothing. The Wraith of Karn Doom. Now I've got some possible things to do here. I could swap a card to the top of my deck. I don't think I'll bother though. Uh, I'm going to gain a resource off of this. And I'll probably just hit that one. Because that's Glorfindor. Hit that for one. And I could use Armin's ability here. I think having this in hand is quite good though. I think these cards are quite good. Silver Lamp especially. I don't need this too much right now. Um, so I could get rid of that one. I think the other card I've got in there is Gandalf Staff, isn't it? Yeah. So my toy maker's at risk of that treachery now. But everything else is okay. Perhaps I could discard that guy. Mm. I think I won't use their ability. Next turn. Okay, that's quite good. I'm going to do this dude. Even though he's at risk of leaving play. Chance to get another one of those treacheries right now is quite minimal. I'm going to say three. Get him. Oh, love it. Thank you so much. After all those Karn Doom losses, I think um, I've earned a bit of luck. 
So I get two of those guys and two resources. And I don't think I'm massively hurting for willpower right now. Uh, so I'll probably play my lamp. That looks solid. And then I'll quest for four again, which is not going to take me through. One card. Another one. <laughs> so um, we attach it to the current quest, and then I reanimate two cards. So one. That's a shame. I lost that. And two. Westward Traveler. I'm going to put these here and see if I can remember them. So that, that. No threat, though, still. It's another four. Shadow cards in the combat phase. Now, I wonder if there's something terrible here that uh, feeds off the number of reanimated dead. I know there is in Nightmare, but I think it might not actually be in normal mode. She should be exhausted. Discard the top two cards in the encounter deck. Resolve the win real effects of each sorcery card discarded by this effect. That would be terrible if I get um, one of these or that one that discards allies. So I'm going to chuck that away. I'll take that one undefended. Then this one is going to get this bad Terror of the North shadow effect. So I will defend this. Discard top three cards. Ally, event, event. So it gets plus two. Uh, so it's hitting for four. I will draw that test of will so I can cancel this if it comes out again. And there's another one there. I don't think I've used Armin's ability this turn uh, because I lost those. So I will chuck away Elven Light and draw it back and discard that. So Dane goes to four. That's gonna, if it destroys a character, reanimate that character and deal it one shadow card. So if I defend that with him, it won't kill him because it's only hitting for two. And that one's done. And then this guy is getting plus one. So I'll just defend that with Dane Arnofer and not do anything else, but I'll discard Gandalf's staff because I don't need it. So that's all that done. And then I'll kill one of them, which is gonna be Glorfindel. Ah, that's nice, all right. This guy can't do anything, so we'll go to the end of the round. Okay, Armor of Erebor up there. I reckon I could play that. I think I'll discard this to gain a resource here. Armor of Erebor is definitely going to be useful for this guy, because he gets plus one attack for each sorcery card, and there's three of them out. So he's going to be hitting for seven, which is quite bad. So I think I want to play one of my armors. I will do that. That will put him at native four. I don't think I need that Westward Traveler at all. At least not at the moment. Um, I think I'm just going to take one thing back there, which is I'm going to play that with Gandalf's resources. So I've got more spirit available to me. I kind of want to play my other Aether Swordsman. So let's get him out. So they will quest for three. But it gives me plus one attack. I quest for two. I could do five. Let's do five. One card. Possession. Doomed one. When revealed, destroy the highest cost ally in play. That ally's controller reanimates that character, adds it to the staging area, and attaches possession to it. Counts as a condition attached with the text. If possession is discarded, the attached card is also discarded. Um, I think there's worse cards to cancel. It's another enemy, though. Which is not good. I've still got, I've still got a few defenders. Uh, I can take a couple of these undefended, I think. So I might let this trigger, and I'll cancel something worse later on. So I will let him be reanimated, because he's the highest cost ally, along with those miners. And that puts me down to three willpower against two threats, so I only make one progress. And then he is possessed. The toy maker is possessed. Bring him here, and deal these guys some shadow cards. It's a bit weird, playing against your own deck. Whoops. Alright, they're all face up because Dane Ironfoot's ready. 
Another possession, that's blank. They all get plus one. Yeah, let's get rid of that. And we'll take this one undefended, I expect. For now, we can defend that one. Nothing happens, take one damage. This guy obviously can't defend. Um, I will defend... I'll take this one undefended. Then I'll defend this one and defend that one. Nothing doing here. Um, so while I'm doing the last defense, I'll draw a card. Oh, nice. And swap that and just discard it off the top of my deck to move through a little bit. Another Armour of Erebor. I don't need that because I've got one in hand. Another Westward Traveller. I think I want attack power, really. So that'll be my third trigger. Ah, <laughs> hidden cash. Um, I'll say zero now. So I get three resources. Okay, and then I've got one, two, three, four. Now I've, I've said I remember what these were and I've forgotten, but I know that one is the toy maker. So let's get rid of the, I think that's a hidden cache. So let's get rid of this. Yeah, Westward Traveler. Okay. All right, done. Next turn. Elven Light. Elven Light. What am I going to do with that? Nothing. I think I might play Northern Tracker because it's 2 2 and I can defend one of those. So I'll swap him and I will say 4. What? Sorry, pay 4 to play him. I don't need that Will of the West because I've got one in hand. So I think I might mine it. I'll just say 1. Okay, that would have been helpful. Um, another Armour of Erebor, perhaps? I think that's okay. I'll discard this one to Armour's ability to gain a resource as well. Alright, now questing. There's nothing in there. There's a chance of revealing a fourth threat location, but if I get that, it's fine, because I've got Galadrim's Greeting, so I'm just going to quest for three, plus Arwen, who does nothing. So three against nothing for now. Uh, heavy Curse, that is bad. I'm going to cancel this one, I think, because it just makes playing this deck a nightmare. So I'm going to cancel that. And it surges into Tombs of Karn Doom. So I break even. Then I'll travel there. Deal one Shadow card to each undead enemy in play to travel here. They're all face up, though. So I might as well just deal them two and have a look at all of them. Oh, boy, this is a lot. All right, I'm going to move them all over. This is what it was like when I played at Nightmare. <laughs> I distinctly remember. Okay, he's going up to three, and that does nothing. He will get three, and that does nothing. Oh, no, plus X, where X and number of sorcery cards in play. Oh, that's terrible. That's plus three. Uh, it's four, actually. So he'll be hitting for seven, and that one's going to be hitting for a similar amount. Discard the top two cards of the encounter deck. Resolve the when revealed effects of each sorcery card discarded by this effect. That would be bad. I think I'll get rid of that and just chump or defend the other ones as best I can. So that goes away. Now this one's going to hit for six because I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So that one I'll defend with Mr. Ironfoot. And this triggers off. So it goes up to six. So I'll discard one that I want. So I will Elven like that. Two, love it. Three. And then, ready, I'll defend that guy. So he just goes up to three. And I've got this one. Uh, it's gonna, it is gonna kill something, so I'm gonna have to reveal an encounter card. Oh, I didn't use that test of will. So I'll chump it with a miner. Reveal an encounter card, Wraith of Karn Doom. All right, then hitting back, I've got three, four. So I think I'll get rid of this one because I know it's that dude. Although actually, that's a possession out of the game, so I'll wait. I'll get rid of this because hidden cash, isn't it? And I've got one, two, three. So one damage on that one. And then we'll go to the next turn. But I think what I'll do is I will kill him and then refresh. And then I'll say three. So I get that one in for free and lose wizard pipe. And again, resource. And then next turn. Alright, Elf Helm, that's good. I think 
you want to play here? And what does this wraith do? So when it leaves play, attach it to a character in play. Counts as a sorcery attachment with the text. Attached character has minus one willpower, attack, and defense. If the attached character leaves play, return Wraith of Karndun to the staging area as an enemy. Hmm. It's a sorcery card, a sorcery attachment. They're really piling up. And in fact, that's a, a, that's a condition attachment, not a sorcery. But I wonder if that counts as a sorcery card in play. Probably not, because it counts as a condition attachment. So actually, their attack power probably didn't go up as much as I thought. And that one too, I guess. I'm not really sure on that, what these count as when they're conditions. I never I never really considered that before. I'm guessing they're not sorcery cards anymore. Daycare gets plus one attack for each sorcery card in play and gains indestructible while at least one sorcery card is in play. That's interesting. I'm not really sure what the rule is there. Um, I guess I'll play it like they are sorcery cards. That's how I've always how I've always played it. Even though it says counts as a condition attachment, I'm guessing it doesn't lose the sorcery trait. Anyway, waffle over. I'll do elf helm, I think. And I do not want to play that, so I'll probably discard this. And I would like to play the ether swordsman and the unexpected courage. I think I'll take a risk and not cancel a treachery. I want this ready out, so I'm going to do that. Okay, I'm questing up against two. Oh, this card, so I forgot about this. At the end of the round, discard top card of each player's deck. Each player must reanimate each ally he discarded by this effect. Um, what, would I, what did I draw? I drew Silver Lamp, so that would have been discarded. So I would have drawn Elf Helm. So I probably couldn't have used Gandalf's resource, but I guess I could have swapped into the top of the deck with a wizard pipe, so why don't I play it that way? That's probably fairer. So if I drew Elf Helm, I would have had this on top, I suppose. I'm kind of clutching at straws a bit now, but whatever. Um, I will quest for three. I want to clear that location. There's six. Six against two. Probably not enough, is it? Um, he's got no damage, so let's do seven. I could do 10 if I get some 4 threat location or something. Well, let's say I don't. Let's say I quest for 11 and I get 9 progress. See, so that would take me through. It's not an opportune time to go through, really. I think I'll take out Gandalf. So I'll quest for 8 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7. If I quest with him, I'll quest for 10. Yeah, I'll quest with Gandalf, because Arwen doesn't do anything. One card. Dark Sorcery. Um, each player discards each ally he controls as the same title as a card in his discard pile. So that's only doomed one, because of Elfhelm. Now, this depends on what I've got in here. I can't actually cancel it, now I said that. So I lose these miners, and I lose um, that residual miner too. All my miners just got wiped. <laughs> so they die, or get discarded, and he gets discarded. So I lost one willpower. I get seven progress. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So close. Okay, this comes down. It's 18 engagement costs, though, so it's a little bit higher than these, which is zeros. Shadows face up. Okay, curse dead. Plus one. And that one's plus uh, top three cards. So that is basically my entire deck done. So I don't really want that to happen. That will go up to five, but I. I can defend that because he's actually five now. So I'll defend the Wraith of Karn Doom, and that doesn't do anything. And then I'll discard this one. Ready. Defend this, I guess. And defend this. Or I could take that and I'm gonna take that undefended. And then I've got four attack. Which I'll probably use to get rid of this one, because this is a sorcery card, right? That's what I've decided, so I'll get rid of that. Okay. Oh, I had another ready, actually. So I don't need to take that undefended at all. Alright, end of the round. Will of the West. I'll discard this to gain a resource. I'm going to swap 
him and play him. So I've got 12 willpower there, which is really good because the last stage here needs a lot of willpower to quest out. And I I think I'm probably just going to deliberately fail on the quest because I don't want to go through at this point. I want to actually sit here for a turn and cycle my deck. As crazy as that seems, if I get four threats, say, I'll go up to 48. That seems like a bad idea. Um, yeah, I'll do it. I won't quest. A real one card. Heavy Curse, that goes on the quest. Uh, I hate that card so much. But I'm about to shuffle my deck. I will make Will of the West cost two, though, which is not massively terrible. Consider I'm about to shuffle my deck or cancel it. Surge into Dwimmer Lake, yeah, four. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> cutting it fine here. Um, so that uh, puts my threat up by four, and then I engage this. Shadow, face up. Okay, so if it destroys the character, it's not going to do that. That does nothing. And this is hitting for five, six, it's going to be hitting for. So I will defend that one with Dane Ironfoot. Safe, ready, defend the next one, ready, defend the last one. So they're all done. Now then, oh, she should have been on the quest. I think I'll shuffle my deck now. Uh, Will of the West on top, that's alright. And then I've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. In fact, actually, Elf Helm means I'm actually 47. So if I get ten, I can kill the Dwimmer Lake, that would be good. It'd be nice to kill that, although I've just shuffled my deck, so it won't help me too much. I'm going to get rid of that Dwimmer Lake, I think. So I do two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and that gets rid of that. And then I'll put one damage on the Wraith. I'll gain a resource off the staff, and I'll go to the next turn. All right, now I probably need to lower my threat. Um, so I think I'll go for that. Get that Northern Tracker in hand. One, two, three, and go down by six. 42 is Treebeard. Now it looks like I'm going to go through, I think, because this Dakinar dude is going to come down either way. And he's only gonna be he is gonna be seven still, because there's three sorceries in play. So I'll probably quest for four. Reveal card. Power of Angmar, Surge. Cards in each player's discard pile cannot leave that player's discard pile by player card effect. And forced after this stage is defeated, each player shuffles the top five cards of his discard pile back into his deck. It's quite a bad time to get that. Surges into Tombs of Karn Doom. One, two, three. It's a bad time to get that as well. Uh, because I can't travel there. So I've quested for four, and I've got three threats, so I make that one progress and go to stage two, which is a pretty bad situation. When revealed, add Dakinar to the staging area. Make Altar of Midwinter the active location, returning any previously active location to the staging area. Each player reanimates the top card of his deck. So I'll finish that off by reanimating Treebeard. Now, this Altar of Midwinter is 5 threat and 9 progress. While Dakinar is in play, progress cannot be placed on Altar of Midwinter, so I'm stuck here for basically 4 turns. Force, at the end of the staging step, the first player must either reveal one additional card from the encounter deck or reanimate the top card of his deck. So I lose my deck, essentially. And then Dakinar is 5 threat, 7 attack now because of these sorceries. Basically, plus one for each sorcery card in play and gains indestructible while at least one sorcery card is in play. When he's damaged, if there's at least one sorcery card in play, cancel all damage just dealt and remove a sorcery card from the game. It's going to take me ages to get this guy down. I think I might be dead, actually, because this is going to be so difficult to actually get through with locations piling up. Uh, let's play it out, though, and see, because I can always do another run. And that's come out at a really terrible time, too, and I can't actually put progress down on the Altar of Midwinter. So... I have to defeat this guy. It says when Dakinar is defeated, advance to the next stage. That's basically all I'm doing. Combat, shadow cards face up. All right, that's nothing, that's nothing. That's the discard the top two. So uh, I can't get rid of that because Gandalf's staff only works on non-unique enemies, so I have to eat it. 
and that one's not going to destroy characters. So I'll probably defend this uh, dude first. I'll definitely discard that. Oh, beautiful. Four resources. And then I discard top two cards. That's not a sorcery, so that doesn't do anything, nor is that. And he's hitting for seven. Defend, uh, Dane's defended for five, sorry, so no damage. Ready him. Defend the Wraith. Doesn't do anything. Ready him. Uh, I'll defend this one. And I've got two here. Defend with Elfhelm. I've got two, three, four, five, six, seven. That kind of sucks, but I have to do something to him. So he will go down. And I discard a sorcery card. I'll probably discard this one. Although if I get... Yeah, let me discard that. That's the sensible thing to do. I would like to discard that one. But I think having these off is much better. And I'll gain a resource. And I'll go to the next round. And there's some things I need to do at the end of this round. So I cannot draw from Elven Light is what that essentially means. And this one... I reveal an additional encounter card or reanimate top card. I'll probably reanimate. This one I discard top card of my deck. Each player must reanimate each ally he discarded by this effect. I can control that though. I'll take an action in this phase and swap Will of the West up there and just discard that one. Shame I didn't discard that. Okay, next turn. Toymaker. Um, I think I'll play Northern Trekker. One, two, three, four. And I can play my Westward Traveller, I think. Because I can't get through this. I just need to qu keep questing successfully. So I'll play her for the two willpower. I could also play Toy Maker for another two willpower. I think I'll do it, even though I don't get the benefit just to get that card into play. Oh, test of will available. I'm going to actually use Gandalf's staff, I think, to gain a resource. Although having a shadow... C yeah, I'll discard that. So gain a resource there. All right, now she goes on the quest, and there's three in there. There's four for a start. I'll do another four. It says eight. Now, I either... Reveal an additional card or reanimate the top card of my deck. Oh, test the will. I'll probably reanimate. So, reveal one card. Dark Halls is two. I can decide now. What's in the stage area? Each reanimated dead gets plus one attack and defense. Yikes. <laughs> uh, I think I might have to blow these with Northern Trackers. Uh, seriously, think about that next turn. Start committing them. It says five in there. I'll oh, reanimate there, that's so bad. Yeah, I'll do it. So I've got, hang on, let's count the enemies first. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four defenses. And I've got seven, eight attacks, so yeah, I'll do it. Test of will there. Okay. So I can't put progress on this. Shadows. Oh, there's only two left. Great. So that's not going to get one. He's going to get one. All right, plus one, so he's five, and that seal the tomb is going to go away. All right, um, I guess if I can't put progress on the altar, then I can't put progress on the power of Angmar either, so I'm stuck with it. So I may as well discard that, it's not going to do anything. He's going to defend him, and I'll take one damage there, because I kind of want to draw that Galadrim's Greeting. Then I'll ready, defend the Wraith for five. Ready, defend the reanimated dead for three. Defend that one for three. And I'll probably defend this one with Elfhelm. So he takes a wound. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So I could do one damage to Dakenar. Um, I think I have to. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that'll get rid of that. I'm going to get rid of that one this time. That takes him down to five. All right. Gain a resource here. And then next turn. Eridluin Minor. So end of the round, actually. I need to go back a second. 
um, I would actually discard the top card of my deck, so I lose Galadrim's Greeting, and I draw him instead. Silver Lamp up there, I don't need that at all. Um, it's not going to help me in any way, shape, or form. Probably go one, two, three, just to get another two wheel power out. And then I'm doing this. I'll, sw I'll swap him to the top, but not yet. I'll wait until I actually need to. Uh, so I think I'm going to have to commit my Northern Trackers to the quest this time. Otherwise, these locations are going to pile up. Uh, and there's nothing here stopping me putting progress on them. So that's two willpower. I'll do another three. So that's five, seven, eight, nine. Another enemy, though. Oh, so bad. Can I actually do five damage? Six damage. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if I keep these up, yes. How am I going to defend everything? Four. So I've got one, two, three here. Three. I could take one undefended, probably. Or I could chump. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, let's do that. One card here. Tombs of Karn Doom. Oh, another one of them. One, two, three. I'll take the reanimation. Or will I as an enemy? Or I can threat up a little bit. Mm. I'll take the card, I'll risk it. Okay, Death and Clans. <laughs> Two of them. Should have took the other one. Arr! Okay, so they both get reanimated. That's probably killed me, actually. That was probably a big mistake. So there's a lesson. Don't do that. Don't be like me. Combat phase. Everybody dies. Okay, that does nothing. Ah, oh, this is terrible. So, uh, let me just see if I can actually survive this. So, Dane Ironfoot, Dane Ironfoot. He's now six. Dane Ironfoot. Toymaker, Elf Helm, and there's two undefended. So, no. So, I'll reset. That was quite a good game, though. That was fun, even though it felt like it was on the knife edge, and I made a couple of mistakes. Because I'm still traumatized from Karn Doom, you see. But, it uh, wasn't too bad. Visibility, everybody. This is not a very good hand, so I will mulligan this. Um, Elf Helm's okay. I'm about to lose Treebeard to a reanimation, but two Zidral Miners will get me set up quite nicely for resource generation, so let's go with it. Uh, so we set Dakenar and Altered Mimbin to side. Rea uh, reveal an encounter card, so I'll shuffle this before we do it. Unholy Crypt, that's going to be a two, because he gets plus one threat for each reanimated dead in play. And then each player reanimates the top card of his deck. Hello, goodbye, Treebeard. Flip. And that doesn't really do anything. Gundal Staff coming into hand, that's nice. So I think I'll go with that. And discard that one. Now I could play my Miner, but having the Test of Will on top is very nice. So uh, I think I'll just leave it there. Could also gain a resource with Gandalf's staff. And play as a Gemino still. And have Testable available, which would be good, I think. Um, yeah, let's do that. I can take one of these undefended. Let's get him out there. All right, then we'll quest for three, four, five, six against two. The Boner Sword, as Brandon likes to say. So each undead enemy gets plus one threat, attack, and defense until the end of the round. And that doesn't surge, so that is good. So this is just three. And uh, there was two in there against my six, so I'm going to make four. I will travel there, because that's got a nice buffer on it. Shadow defend. Nothing. Uh, he's defending for three, so I don't need to do anything. I'll draw that test of will. Ether Swords when I want him, so we will just refresh. Okay, this loses all the stats it just gained. Toymaker. Hmm. He's not going to be massively useful. I don't think I want to discard stuff for the sake of it, though. But I could play Elf Helm, actually, if I mine him off. So I'm going to do that. I'll say three. Test of Will. And I'll discard that. 
gain a resource. One, two, three, four. There he is. Lovely. Now I think I'm just going to quest for three. And try and get rid of this. One card. Tombs of Car and Doom, so break even. Okay, now I need to quest for a lot more next turn. In fact, actually, I can swap it with my Traveler. Yeah, love it. Uh, so, no progress. Shadow, defend. Nothing. Get rid of Gandalf's staff. I'll have that armor. Thank you very much. And I'll do three, four, five. And that will kill Treebeard. Reanimated Treebeard. And at the end of the round, discard top card of each player's deck. It's not going to be an ally, so that's fine. Ooh, I'm going to draw another one. Next turn. Okay, I'll say three. Discard him into play. What of the West goes by? Gain one. I'll do one, two. Play her and swap these two out. And that's now a one. And I think Ether Swordsman looks a good bet. But that Silver Lamp's also very nice. So I'm going to play that with Dan uh, Gandalf. Sorry. Unexpected Courage up there. Um, I'll draw that. And then discard that. And I think I probably don't need to play it because I've got one defender this turn. I'd probably rather have the willpower and try and smash through that active location. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Up against one. That seems a bit excessive actually. If I get four threat location, I'd be up against five. So I make six progress. So let's take out Gandalf. So we'll do eight to one. Dead Lord. After it engages you, put the topmost undead enemy in this card pile into play engage with you. I think there aren't any. Yeah. Oh, there is one. Oh, Wraith of Karn Doom. Okay. So I will get two enemies. That's interesting. Three, four. So four progress. Travel back there again. He engages, go and grab that thing. Oops, well, goodbye. All right, shadow cards face up. Nothing, and that's not gonna do anything either. So we've got a four and a four, dead lord. I could take that undefended <laughs> and just get rid of him. Uh, Wraith of Karn Doom. It needs to play attached to a character in play. Counts the sorcery attachment with the text. Attached character gets minus one towards stats, basically. Yeah, perhaps I can kill him. It's pretty bold, isn't it? Taking it undefended this early. Let's defend the dead lord. And he is going to do one damage right now. I think I'll take that because I want that pipe. Then I'll take this undefended. There's no defending character, so that doesn't do anything. And do three, four, five. And then I think I'll I think I'd rather I wanted to kill that, but I kinda of don't. But I don't want a dead lord bring you back a dead lord, but I'm gonna do it. So he's gone. Um gain a resource and go to the next turn. Alright, another wizard pipe. I could have afforded to chuck that one away. Um, we say one. Gain a resource. Will of the West, I want that. Wizard pipe here. Switch um, this one, because I want this card. One, two, play. Another one. Beautiful. Um, I think I'll grab that. I don't think I've used her ability this round, so let's discard it and play another one. Okay, that's much safer on defense. Then quest for four, five, six, seven. Against nothing, reveal one card. Death and Calamity, so we're reanimating one card. I think I can get away with that. He says. I always say that stuff. Uh, added no threat, so it actually clears this unholy crypt. And then 
combat, face up. Attacking enemy gets plus X, where X is the number of sorcery cards in play, so that's going to be a 3. I think we can take that. So I will defend the Wraith and discard this. Gain two resources. Um, so no damage, and then I'll defend this and no damage because it's plus one. There's only one sorcery card in play as far as I can see. And I'll ready him up, and I've got a little bit of attack power. I've got five. Could get rid of that Wraith, couldn't I? Um, I think I'll just get rid of this then. And let's stick three damage on the Wraith. I could do that more efficiently, couldn't I? I could do four on the, the undead, and then I could actually do four damage on the wraith, so it's really close to dying. Gain resource, and then next turn. All right, I'm going to play him, and that will give me a tasty armor for free. I don't need that silver lamp, so I'm going to say two. Test of will. Um... Miner is just going to sit there. Unless, actually, I'll do this. So I'll play another one. I say three. Get freebie. That goes away. No one tracker would be good, but test of will. I'm going to keep that. So a quest for two, three, four. Reveal a card. Seal the tomb. Surge. At the end of the refresh phase, discard the top three cards of the encounter deck. Return the topmost undead enemy in the encounter discard part to the staging area. Surges into Sinister Dungeon, so break even. It's four against four. I will travel there. When it's explored, the first player reanimates a random card from his hand and deals Sinister Dungeon to it face down as a shadow card. Ugh. That doesn't even... No, even if you left that in the staging area and cleared it with Northern Tracker, it wouldn't do anything. Combat, shadow... Oh, I hate that. I'm going to guess get rid of it. And then defend... Four against four. Now, I think I'm going to get rid of this Wraith. Um, I'm going to attack it with a Miner, and it will die. And then I will put it on that Miner. That's what you get for playing with Wraiths. You lose all your stats. So you can get chumped or discarded or something. Although, actually, no, I'll just discard it once I get to stage two, I hope. All right, next turn. Seal the tomb. Discard top three cards in the encounter deck. Ooh, look at that. Dwimmer Lake coming back. I better seal that tomb pretty quick. Okay, Elven Light. I don't need that. I'll save one. Oh, beautiful. Now I'm going to be reanimating a random card from my hand, so I want to play that tracker. One, two, three, four. Actually, I want to, I want to protect my will of the west as well, pardon me, because I don't want to lose it, because I think I've already let two go by, I certainly let one go by, yeah there's one, so there must be another one in my deck somewhere, so it's risky to do that. I'm going to try to seal the tomb, let's do three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, no I need more than that, thirteen, fourteen, up by ten. And I could get one six, so I could afford a three threat card. I think I'll try it. When revealed, put each copy of Cursed Dead and Discard Pile into play in the staging area. If there's any in there, I'll probably cancel it. There aren't. That's lucky. So it's only one. So I make nine. Now at this point, I'm going to swap that to the top of my deck. So I'll do one. Oh, damage. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No benefit from seeing the tomb whatsoever, apart from the fact that it goes away. So I'll reanimate a random card. It's going to be my hidden cache. And then I deal this to it face down as a shadow card. That's interesting because that says shadow cards dealt to enemies engaged with you are dealt face up. So I wonder which one takes precedence. But I know what it is anyway, so it doesn't make much difference really because it says it's going to be that discard effect. So I'll just put it face up. Who cares? Shadows for these. Alright, what are we dealing with? If it destroys a character, it won't. That's blank. That's blank. So why don't I just discard that one? Alright, Dwimmer Lake, defend. He is coming in for four. Um, I will draw a card. So I get my Will of the West back. 
Oh, I want that unexpected courage too. Um, so I'll draw that. I don't care about her, so she can go away. And then defend the um, Cursed Dead. I'll discard Glorfindel. And I'll defend that one and take no damage. So that's all done. Now then, I've got. He's n nothing, so I've got four attack. Uh, that is my ally, isn't it? So I'll get rid of it. Or my hidden cash, rather. Just get rid of those. Keep them off the table. And then we'll go to the next round. Alright, now I've got to kill a few of these enemies before they build up. Certainly this Dwimmer Lake. Let's see. Hidden cash on top. I'll say zero. So I get three resources. I'm going to use that Galadrim's greeting now. Go down by six. So 34. Uh, I want that Aether Swordsman. So I'll swap him for this. And play him. Go to three. And then I'll do the Unexpected Courage. And I'm done. I've got three readies on Dane. That's really nice. All right. I don't want to quest too hard, I think. I'll probably do four. One card. Tombs of Karn Doom, so I make one progress. Travel, I have to deal a shadow card to each undead enemy in play. Yeah, okay, I'll do it, because they're face up. Oh, beautiful. Two of those. All right, and then another two. Ah, fully blank. Loving it. Um, defend Dwimmer Lake, discard, ready, defend, curse dead. No need to discard anything, because these are all the same shadow cards. And now, can I kill that Dwimmer Lake? I got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So he's dead. And then I may as well get rid of Curse Dead too. So that's gone. Clean. Looking good. Next turn. Now, I'm thinking I want to push through now at this point because I'm in a really strong position compared to the last game. So I'm actually probably going to go for it. Um, I'll play him. I'll say three. Oh, nice. Two resources. Uh, Galadrim's greeting up there. I'm going to play my Northern Tracker, though. I've got another one somewhere. There he is. So that's a lot of attack power. Okay. Oh, this one. I forgot about that. Discard the top card of each player's deck. Now, what would that have been? Um, I think it was my Swordsman. Let me see what I drew a second. Moves. Um, discards Curse Dead. Draws Northern Tracker. Right. So why don't I reanimate that to make it fair? Um, if I just flip him, the pain in the arse that effect, and I have no memory of uh, what I did after that, so I'm just going to keep it like this. I think I played the swordsman from the top of my deck, but I can't be bothered to go through the log. I've lost the northern tracker, and I paid four for it actually, so I should probably gain the resources back. Um, I'll call that fair. I, I I don't know my mistake. So I'll quest through here. Go for twelve. 14, 16. Try and put some progress down. That won't finish it, so let's do 19. This probably won't finish it, I'll probably have to do another turn, but I'll certainly clear the active, I hope. Another one of those, blimey. 15. 1, 2, 3, and then 12. It does go through, wow. Alright. Stage 2, so that comes in. Um, add him to the stage area, make that active. And then reanimate top card deck. Yeah, that's actually a really bad timing, isn't it? I was in a strong position. I made a small mistake. And now I'm in the doo-doo. Okay. He'll, he'll engage. And he'll engage. Shadow cards. He's hitting for six because there's currently two sorceries. That's a sorcery and that's a sorcery. All right. Face up. If it destroys a character, reanimate it and deal a shadow card, it won't. He gets plus one, so he's going up to seven. That's quite bad, but I can't get rid of that. That's going up to three, and that could potentially go up to five. I feel like I'm going to get rid of this, because I just hate discarding cards from that, although my deck's nearly empty anyway. Uh, I can safely defend that one, no problem. So I'll do that now. This is going to nothing, so... I think I might have to jump this guy. Uh, let's defend that one with Dane and discard my Will of the West. 
So no damage because he goes up to five. And then that guy's hitting for six, seven. So we'll chump it. Goodbye. Alright. Now I need to do some damage to him. So I'll do three, four, five, six. That does one damage. I can get rid of a sorcery car, which will be that one. Because I don't want that triggering like I did last time. I've got two, three, four, five. So I think, given that I've got five, what I'll do is I'll kill one of them and I'll put one damage on that. Oh, I've actually got another three damage, so I'll do another three to it, or two to it rather. And then he goes down by one attack, and I'll go to the next round. I'm going to draw Bilbo. Okay, I will reshuffle my deck. Hidden cash. Say zero. Oh, I love it. Six resources. If only Glorfindel was still in there. Uh, I'll go for two for that lady. And I'll pay... I'm just going to dump out my hand, basically. Two for this. And I'll pay two for Bilbo. And I'll go and find a pipe. Galadrim's greeting. Yeah, I'll play that in the quest phase. Go down by six. All right. Now then, I think I could probably get away with two cards here. So I'm going to do that this turn. I'll do two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Revealing two cards. First card, Cursed Dead. When revealed, put each copy of that into play in the staging area. Ooh, that's like all of them, I think. There's, there's a whole load of them. One, two, three. That's exciting. Um, yeah, that's exciting, isn't it? Four enemies. That's a cancel. Gotta be, isn't it? Now I can choose to either reveal a card, or I'm going to actually reanimate my deck, I think. Because if I get another one of those, I am in deep poo. So I'm going to safely reanimate rather than taking that additional card. There's only one threat in there, so I clearly quest successfully, even though I can't actually do anything with it. Uh, that will come down here. Shadow cards, face up. We'll see what the next card was. It was a Sinister Dungeon. There's the other. Whoa, one card away. Curse dead. Uh, let's see then. So Dane is defending for four. He can defend that safely and defend that safely, no problems. So let's do Dakenar first. Discard that, gain two. Ready. And I will defend probably this. Now this is a bad shadow effect. That's going up to four. That's going up to three. And that will not do anything. Um, I don't like that card, so I'm going to discard it. Then defend. Discard Glorfindel. Gain up to five. Ready. I'll defend that one. So, plus one, four, no damage, ready. So nice having this guy as your main defender. Three, no damage, and then this is hitting for two. I shall defend with Elf Helm. No damage. Now I need to get rid of that last sorcery card here. So I can do three, four, five, six. That does one damage to him. It's cancelled, and it gets rid of that. So that is discarded, because it's a sorcery attachment. Uh, so I don't return the Wraith to the staging area. Um, because cancel damage and remove a sorcery card from the game. Ah, remove it from the game. Okay. So actually, one of those Death and Calamity should be removed from the game. A bit messy here. I'm just trying to finish this off. And I have got three, four. So let me get rid of this. And I've got two, apparently. There. All right. Done. So end of the round, no triggers, I think. Just refresh. Will of the West up there. Probably switch that into hand. And just play this Traveler to get a little bit more willpower. Ready to quest out of the last stage. That's beautiful. I wonder if I can draw that. Nope. Glorfindel's in there, though. Uh, so... I will discard this, 
and then I will draw it back and then I will play Glorfindor okay now that's my northern tracker there so let's try to kill that this turn I think or oh, actually we want to kill Dakinar so I need 17 to kill him so I just want to quest with weenies I'll quest for 6 I think that's enough let's do 8 I'll probably have to reveal 2 cards 10 all the chuds going in First card, Dark Halls, Reanimated Dead get plus one attack and defense. Second card, Dark Sorcery, it's Doomed 1 because I've got Elf Helm and I have to discard any ally that's in my discard pile. None, that's really good. And it's a Sorcery but that doesn't do anything in this quest. So I quest successfully but I don't place any progress here because I can't. Combat. Silver Lamp, I love it so much. Ah, oh, I can't get rid of that. That's so bad. Okay, defend the Dwimmer Lake, discard Will of the West. And then defend the Cursed Dead. I'll just discard this guy into play. Ready, defend the um, reanimated guy. That's not going to do anything. And then this could be a 7 attack. So it looks like it might be a chump block. I uh, will defend with the miner and discard one, two, three. He is well and truly dead. All right, now can I do 17 here? Probably not. <laughs> Let's try. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17. Hey, don't doubt yourself. You can do it. If you really want to kill Dakinar, you can do it. So I will kill him, but first I will kill my reanimated dead. Then I'll do 17. So that will do 12 damage. And there are no sorcery cards in play as far as I can see. Nothing here. These are removed from the game. So he dies, goes to the victory display, and I go immediately to stage 3. Okay, Dakinar's fall. When revealed, if there are less than X locations in the staging area, search the encounter deck and discard pile and add locations to the staging area until there are X locations in the staging area. X is the number of players in the game, that's one, and there is one in there, so that's fine. Uh, so the reanimate dead thing, progress that would be placed on this quest is instead placed on locations in the staging area divided as you choose. Force at the end of the quest phase, if there are any locations in play, deal one damage to all characters in play. If there are no locations in play, the players have escaped Karndoom and win the game. So quest, 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 and run away. That is the order of the day. Um, I will do one more thing, because I don't think that progresses you to the end of the round. I'll ready Glorfindor, and I'll kill that, because I can't kill that. And then we'll go to the next turn after I gain a resource. All right, Armour Erebor, um, Toymaker, I'll play him. One, two, three. He comes in. Get free Armour of Erebor. There's Treebeard showing up at the last minute to do nothing. So I won't do anything else. Uh, I think I'll just go to the quest phase. There's two threatened there. And I did not need to reanimate a card, did I? Because he left play, so that's fine. No mistake there. So I guess I just quest out. 12, 14... 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 27, 30. That's got to be enough, isn't it? Well, I have to reveal a couple of cards. 30, 33, 34, I think 35. Magic 35. Reveal one card. It's a Wraith. And then I'll just reanimate the top card of my deck rather than reveal an additional card because that makes more sense because I know what it is and it doesn't have any threat to the staging area I make 31 progress that altar is getting absolutely steamrolled and then I get another 22 so I just put it there and there are no locations in play so I've escaped Car Doom and I win in 10 rounds hope that was a clean one but that was a much better game I think first game made a few mistakes probably um, but it was quite tough and I had a lot more sorceries out when I played this with my other decks, the card I used to run was Mighty Prowess because any time you kill one of these little chuds, you can put a damage on Dakinar and then that removes a sorcery. So that's a really good tech card for this quest. But that brings the Angmar Awaken cycle to a close. Now, obviously I didn't beat Karn Doom, but I kind of knew that I was never going to beat that one. But overall, I enjoyed playing this cycle through. So 
I think it was interesting to play it with the same deck. I hope you're not bored of watching this deck by now, but um, it is a fun deck to play. So there is that side to it. It's been enjoyable to take it through a cycle. And I'd be curious to know if this was something you enjoyed. It didn't take me long to bash out these videos, so if you'd like to see another cycle played with the same deck, let me know and I'll give it a go. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you probably very soon for a game with Joseph. In the meantime, bye-bye for now.